Alexei Tsipras had a spring in his step on Friday. The Prime Minister says he's pocketed a deal to end Greece's debt crisis. A clear signal of confidence was given to the markets, and at the same time, I think what concerns the Greek people who have suffered great sacrifices with patience, a clear commitment was given for the end of the program in one year from now. But the crisis is far from over. Greece has to repay $8 billion next month. Eurozone ministers have so far only agreed to lend Greece more money if their parliaments approve the plan. And the IMF wants more guarantees from the Greek government before it offers a new bailout. Tsipras is promising that Greeks will tighten their belts even more if international lenders provide another $9.5 billion to pay off old loans. New austerity measures include pension cuts from 2019 and a lower tax-free threshold by 2020. Greece is also willing to delay its request for writing down some previous loans. Global investors have welcomed the agreement, but on the streets of Athens, resentment is growing. They conceded to everything. The lenders have even taken our underwear, and they are trying to convince us that in the next year, Greeks will be eating with golden spoons. These protesters say the government's abandoned workers and the elderly to lie in its own pockets. It's not going into my pocket. They are not going to give one single euro to pensioners. Once again, it is going to go into their pocket. With his new plan, Tsipras is closer to winning the support of international lenders. Now he has to persuade the people of Greece to foot the bill. Mubin Nasser, TRT World. So our editor-at-large, Craig Peters, joins us now from Paris for more on this. Craig, thanks for being with us. So the short-term crisis looks like it's been averted, uh, but this deal is really not what Greece needs in the long term. Isn't that right? Who, to who told you the short-term crisis has been alleviated? Now, nah, it seems to be to what everyone in Europe to? is saying. What? Well, you know, the Europeans, they're very good at kicking cans down the road. We need history here to understand this, so gather around the campfire. Back in May 2010, the Troika gave Greece a 110 billion euro loan bailout. But that money was not for sovereign debt. It was specifically linked to allowing Greek, Greek and other banks to reduce their exposure to Greek government bonds. Listen up, it had nothing to do with sovereign debt. At the same time, Goldman Sachs and a whole bunch of other banks helped the Greek government hide its debt. There were two pretty corrupt Greek governments at the time. Now, putting aside that the Greeks got themselves into this mess in the first place, what's going on here now is that this 8.5 billion euro bailout is not a bailout. It isn't. May I repeat that, please, Azar? It's not a bailout. At least 7.4 billion of these euros are going to be used to honor debt repayments, mostly to the European Central Bank. This is doing absolutely nothing to alleviate the crisis there. The country still owes 324 billion and counting uh, euros. It's a debt mountain that is the equivalent of more than 180 percent of the country's GDP. It's the equivalent of someone with a big mortgage who can't repay it, uh, borrowing on their credit card <laughs> to r help repay the monthly <laughs> That's payments, it. isn't it? <coughs> that, I, I guess. Um, but That's let's exactly talk, what it is. Let's talk a little bit about the IMF's role in all of this. Um, the reason that there was such a, a that this thing was stalled until now was these mixed messages that we've been getting from the IMF. Um, what are they trying to do right. here? Well, first of all, the IMF does not like this deal. They're calling it the second best deal. They want to give Greece debt relief. And had they given the Greeks, the, the Troika agreed to give Greece some debt relief back in 2010, we would not be in this situation now. It is precisely what you said. This is someone borrowing on their credit card. And the Greek government just can't sustain it. it the, the arithmetic doesn't work. Remember, Greece has been bailed out three times. 
since the first rescue pr program I mentioned back in 2010. They've pumped in in the neighborhood of 300 billion plus euros in cash. And most of this money is going to, re, uh, to repay the debt. It's vigorous cash. Indeed. <coughs> Craig Capetus in Paris. We're going to be watching this story for a long time to come. Thank you so much.